we're gonna be fishing near Half Moon Bay today. It's got some birds out there. I'm gonna try that Hopkins spoon again uh, with a custom bucktail hook uh, from Jason. I think out here is a better spot. There's bigger stripers out here. Gonna do a catch and release uh, today, unless I heard a fish or something like that, then uh, I'll keep it. Might do some perch fishing with the Lucky Craft. Uh, if I get really lucky, I might get hollowed it, but let's go. Looks really good right here. It's got some birds. A lot of birds, actually. Hopkins style spoon. Look at that. Right there, man. Looks good. Wet my line a little bit here. Right. As long as there's no seaweed, I don't see any. I'm gonna have fish here, I do believe. Keep my rod tip kind of down if I can. Ooh, finally, no seaweed. Thankful for that. Yeah, birds are down there. Stripers are too, probably. Just keep moving to the left. Yeah, those birds are diving right there. I think I can get pretty close to them. I don't want to get too close though. I don't want to hook one. Can't get any better. Look at those birds diving right there, man. Right here. Come on, Striper. Oh, man, they got to be here. If they're not here, where are they? Should have gotten a bite by now, man. What? Huh. There's bait fish here because birds are diving for them constantly. They should be hot right now, but they're not. Don't hit a bird. Just don't hit that bird. Oh, man, don't hit that bird. There he is, got him, yes. Oh, did he get off? Oh, I think he got off. How did he get off, dude? Dude, that striper got off that hook. Come on, dude. I haven't had this problem with the cast, master. Got my drag a little tighter now. Tighten it a little bit more. At least I know one went for it. I'll tighten it a little bit more here. About where I want it. Ah, birds are leaving now. Dang it. Yeah, I had my opportunity. What's going on with you, girl? Get you back out there. Huh? Bet you the stripers moved with those birds out there. Just kept going left. We moved. Nice convergence and a trough out there. Got some depth. Ah! Oh, there it goes. Bye bye. All right, got the cast master now. Hopefully, I don't lose it. I honestly think this athletic tape here is kind of rough. I think that may have worn it and it broke. Or maybe the bird did cut my line a little bit. But I think I'm gonna buy actual finger guard instead of this athletic tape. I don't think it's gonna wear my line down as much. Yeah, this one's different. I have to adjust a little bit. It's another crab. A lot of crabs out right now. I think they're females laying eggs. Woo! Wearing myself out today. Very hard. I'm gonna try the uh, Lucky Craft now. I am, uh, I'm pretty worn out though. Been out here about four hours and nothing. I wanna loosen my drag up a little bit with this guy.
I got him. Yes. All right. I didn't think I was gonna get one. It's a striper. Nice. All right. Woo. All right, dude. I got my drag pretty loose because it's a lucky craft. It's stock hooks. Woo, wee, man. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's see if we can get him in without losing him. Woo. Come on, striper. Woo. Oh, he got off. Oh, well. Oh, well. I kind of expected that. Not very good. Not very good, huh? I just lost a striper, though, so they're here. A lot of stripers? I just lost a striper, so they're here. Oh, they oh. just They just showed up, apparently. Entry-level surf fishing anglers, so... Yeah. I, I cherish every opportunity to talk to steal the trade by talking to people basically. So I have a couple of poppers and stuff like this. My first striper, this is how I got into it. Sorry to take your time. Off. Three weeks ago we were just on a beach and I'm talking to people and this guy has like a 10 pound striper sitting in the beach. I'm like, okay, let me talk to him. We do a lot of trout fishing and whatnot. 50, 20 minutes talking, he's like, you know what? I need a break. Go ahead. Within five minutes I hooked a seven pound striper. Yeah. My first ever off the beach. So I went ahead and I spent nearly 400 bo bucks on the setup. Yeah. I thought, like, okay, let's see a lot of shells and whatnot, right? I think that's a good indicator right there. It's steep right here. So if you look right here, right. it's cutting, yeah. So okay. there's kind of a pocket really close. Gotcha. I also have the Daiwa SP, which is also about six inch. Do you think that would work? I got one here before with the Daiwa. Wow. Yeah. And what is that if you want me to ask? Uh, this is a Lucky Craft. Uh, when I hooked him, I... I, you know, it's hard to make them stay. I've lost a lot with this one. So I see. the hooks but are you small. You had one on. Yeah. yeah I have one. Sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet. Awesome. Well, I hope we both get our limits rather quickly. We'll uh, see. It was, it was just a thrill. I mean, it was pun intended. I was hooked once I got it. You know? Right. The thing that I'm still missing is the waders, and I'm improvising with my paddleboarding water shoes and stuff. It's summer, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, it looks like they just. They just start biting, so. Last question, um, and thank you for your time, of course, is would this be a good time in between the tides? What is your gauge when to, when to start, you know, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I mean, uh, incoming high tide is good, and outgoing from high tide. So an hour before or after, maybe? Uh, two hours to an hour before peak high tide, and after should be good. And like two hours before now before it goes out yeah okay that's what i mean I'm, I, again well it's coming it's, com it's coming up right now oh it's coming up yeah so right, well I'll try to cast master now i'm more likely to be able to land him sorry if you might get another question on uh, what is the good length of the leader this is the first one of 30 pounds it's a 30 pound braid and a 30 pound model that i put on but it's I find this barrel swell going through the first, um, how do you call these? Those are rod guides. The, rod, the guides, right. So, this is a bit too long, perhaps? I mean, that's fine. Um, you just, could, just don't feel it as much, right? Just leave it down a little bit more, so because right, right, right. your rod will flex. So that flex is going to hit that. Uh, it's going to hit that barrel swivel that you have. I mean, a couple of times I'm really it goes through. I mean, luckily it didn't damage it, but eventually it probably will. So it will, yeah. Yeah. You okay. just have to be mindful of it. Right, right. When it comes to these pencil poppers, any particular tips? You know, I haven't used those that much. Cast master. It just it's easier with a single hook for me not to lose them <laughs> like I did that last oh, one. I see, I see. But because it's really steep right here, and if you have trebles, especially small ones like that, you have to put a lot of pressure on, it and it can just pop off. Are you, are you nearby? Do you come from far away? Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. This is your playground, basically. Yeah, sort of. But yeah, I would just pop it. It's probably best to throw it past a wave that's breaking, kind of like that wave that's breaking right there. 
Yeah, I like okay. pass that wave. Oh yeah. If you shake it, you can hear bearings in it. Right. They need to be on the bottom. It'll cast further. No, it's a popper. So basically, just just kind of play with it because it. You're gonna be kind of doing like this. Right, right, right. Popping it. You want you want to make a lot of action on top of the water, but it's really rough right here. I, I don't know if they'll go for it, but. Right, there, there, there's definitely weights in it, but make sure the weights are on the bottom. If the weights are on the top, it's not going to cast as far. See, but that's another good so thing. But if you shake it, you just kind of shake it, shake them down because they can get problems stuck in there. Yeah, you can do it with a rod, right, but right, right. yeah. All right, well, much appreciated. I mean, sorry to bother me. Hello there. I'll try my uh, SP minnow here. These hooks are rusted, but they are sharper. Where I want it. Hey. That's why it's nice to have a bellless reel. Woo. Big wave, dude. Oh, man, about seven hours out there. But, uh, yeah, pretty much I knew when I hooked them I was going to lose them because these hooks here, at least this back one here, is really, it's just dull. I need to sharpen these hooks and probably need to actually get uh, better hooks. These are the stock hooks. So, But the dental floss bucktail looks like it works. I don't know. They went for it. One dead. But yeah, it wasn't that many stripers out there today. But lesson learned. Thank you for watching. See you next time.